So we're doing this series on uh, the so-called funniest man in America. Funniest man in America in quotations. Uh, Mr. James Gregory. Uh, you realize before Colonel Sanders came along, the only thing that ate dinner out of a bucket was a hog? <laughs> <laughs> now he's got everybody doing it. And by the way, have you noticed that's one thing that all of us fat people have in common? We'll do anything in the world to lose weight except put eat. <laughs> We like to read books, Stop join three. clubs. Matter of fact, we like to read a good diet book while we eat the box of cookies. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm Lane. I'm Tian, and this is Wow. What? Hmm. <laughs> It's our reaction show. We want to welcome you to the Dead Comics Club. Hey, Mr. President, you want to call this meeting to order? I call this meeting to order. Order, order, order. Uh, official meeting has begun. Um, Mr. President, uh, what do we do here? Well, here at the Dead Comics Club, we pay tribute to the great comics of the past who are no longer with us. But they're still killing them. Still killing them, just like the shirt says. Uh, so we're doing this series on uh, the so-called funniest man in funniest America. man in America in quotations. Uh, Mr. James Gregory uh, just passed away, like about a month ago James or so. James Gregory, and he comes highly recommended. Um, yeah. Some of... people have called him the redneck. Redneck pinhead. <laughs> uh, but I'm not so sure yet. He he's not on that mm. level. Uh, uh, so far, so, so far, far yeah. he's, he has not reached Panette level, uh, Panette level comedy. So and maybe it's the expectations because he's calling himself the funniest man in America. So we're, we're yeah. expecting, yeah. you know, and he's not yeah. bad, but he, I don't know if he's earned that title yet. He was yet. getting funnier. Yeah. Yeah. He was maybe uh, a funny man in America. Yeah. Funniest yeah. man in Livonia, Georgia. Uh, OJ, man, you cracked me up. Well, give him a, a chance. All right. He comes highly recommended. Yeah, yeah. And this is his very first special. Though. Yeah. So very first televised yeah. special. And, you know, we'll give him a chance. We'll give him a chance. So there's, we got, uh, you know, we uh, we trust our, our community. They mm -hmm. say he's he's one of yeah, their favorites. Yeah, highly recommended. Hey, before we, we jump into our, our reaction video, uh, we want to give away some free merch to some of the most of amazing uh, community here on YouTube. Every video we make, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we pick out one subscriber and we Lucky send them a winner. Send them a free t-shirt, right? All so right. Uh, You got a winner? Yep. Yeah. Who is it today? All right, here's the winner. All right. It's Amber, O-R-9-R-Q. O-R-9? O-R-9? O-R-9-R-Q. Amber! Whatever that special code means, we don't know, hey, but you know who you are. Amber, Amber. Uh, Miss Amber, thank you. Thank you for coming here. Uh, most of our community is a bunch of old guys, and we thank you for gracing us with your presence. Mm. Uh, hey, yeah. through our merch store, we want to send you something for free. This one, yeah. that one. Yeah, we got all the Panette stuff. All and the, the Panette collection. The Panette collection. So pick out uh, yeah, something you like. Tell us where to ship it. Email us here at... Boom at wowwhatton at gmail dot com and we'll we'll send it to you. Thank, thank you, thank you. All uh, right, Amber. congrats. Uh, okay, we're doing uh, the quote funniest man in uh, America. Okay. Starting tomorrow, some of y'all will be comedians. You know that. <laughs> Every time you see a sign, you'll say, "Know what that means?" <laughs> what that means. Uh, yeah, if I could be serious for a moment. You know, you hear people say all the time that we Americans aren't as civilized as we used to be, not as humane as we once were. After all these years that have gone by, half the people blame that on Vietnam, the other half blame it on Watergate. I blame the whole situation on Colonel Sanders. Oh. <laughs> and I know you're sitting there and you're saying, I hope he explains that. <laughs> I will, that's my job. Yeah. <laughs> you, you realize before Colonel Sanders came along, the only thing that ate dinner out of a bucket was a hog? <laughs> now he's got everybody doing it. Let's say you go down to the Kentucky Fried Store. They're waiting on the man in front of you. He's about five foot eight. He weighs 340 pounds. He can't hardly breathe. And I'm glad to see y'all find that fun. Yeah, man's gasping for air. Yeah, we'll laugh at that. You're my kind of people. Now, you know how they got the menu on the wall over the counter? All this man can do is breathe and point. Like, And the girl says, can I help you? 
I feel so stupid doing this. At this point in the show every night, you know what thought goes through my mind? James, why don't you just go get a job? <laughs> it's too late. <clears throat> you know, I could have been a forklift operator. I could. My dad was and his dad before him. When I got out of high school, my dad could have got me on down there at the plant where he works. Just like that. But did I take it? No. <laughs> I want a bucket of chicken. <laughs> and then the girl says something ridiculous like, how do you want that cook? You want original, extra crispy, or what? Trust me, people, this man don't care. <laughs> she could spin in there, he don't care. <laughs> Give him a live chicken, he'll kill it. <laughs> She's talking to a human being that's about to eat a bucket of food. <laughs> and by the way, have you noticed that's one thing that all of us fat people have in common? We'll do anything in the world to lose weight except quit eating. <laughs> we like to read books, join clubs. Matter of fact, we like to read a good diet book while we're eating a box of cookies. <laughs> And I've tried every fad diet that come along. Remember Dr. Stillman's water diet? You had to drink 14 glasses of water every 24 hours. I lost two pounds the first day. My bladder fell out. <laughs> but I tell you what, I invented a diet. You fat people write this down, I don't mind. What you do before every meal, you drink a half a pint of Seagram 7. You're still hungry, but you can't find your mouth. Yeah. Is it? You know, uh, fat, fat people will eat anywhere. I hate it when they eat in bed. It's nighttime, you take a shower, you crawl between the sheets, and there's tater chips in there. But see, when it comes to being overweight, we all become hypocrites. In other words, it's all right to be fat, but it's not so all right to date a fat person. That makes us hypocrites. And I know, I used to date a fat woman. Oh, Lord. Mm. Just so you'll know what I'm talking about. The moment you saw this woman, you just assumed that somebody in her family owned a flatbed truck. I, well... <laughs> Well, let me say one other thing. Anytime we went somewhere early in the morning, I'd tell her, I'd say, Hun, don't wear nothing yellow. School children might jump on. Uh, I saw something interesting in, uh, in your newspaper today. If you had today's paper, you'd verify this. This is not a joke. One of the tire companies, either Firestone or Goodyear, they got a big sale on automobile tires. They got a full page ad. I know you look at that ad that underneath each tire in very small print, it said, not actual size. <laughs> I don't have to tell you that ruined my whole day. Oh yeah, I've been wanting some of them little bitty wheels. I mean, let's think about this. Somebody with Goodyear had to make that decision. Did they think somebody was going to go in there See the paper, then say to his wife, Honey, look at him. That's a lot of money for a tire that little, you know. <laughs> They're thinking we won't notice that. Think about this, you go into a grocery store, you buy a lemon pie, bag of lemon candy. You read the label, it'll say made with artificial flavoring or made with imitation lemon. <clears throat> now you go to the other side of the store to get some furniture polish, they got lemon pledge. On the can, it says, made with real lemon. <laughs> that bothers me. <laughs> we're eating the artificial junk, and we're spraying the good stuff on the coffee table. <laughs> we're not eating the real stuff. <laughs> I'll tell you all what's wrong with America today. Giant right, cookies. Giant cookies. <laughs> That's right, them big cookies. You get them over at the mall. You got one cookie, 
size of a hubcap, <laughs> cost eight dollars. <laughs> that ain't right. Remember until a few years ago, a cookie was like yay big. Get a whole bag of them for a buck. I remember as a little kid getting ready for school. My mother would say, Junior, that was me. You want a cookie in your lunch? I said, yeah, that'd be good. Now mother says to her child, son, you want to take a cookie to school, will you? Well, yeah, if I get somebody to help me carry it. Be just... <laughs> See, there's a lot of things out there that don't make sense these days. Every store you go into, they got these little machines. You put a quarter in there. Get your pulse, your heart rate checked. You know what I'm talking about. It bothers me that you can get your heart checked at Pizza Hut. <laughs> Does this make any sense? I can't see a guy going in the Pizza Hut saying, yeah, this order's to go. Give me a large Super Supreme. Double cheese. I love cholesterol. Give me a lot of jalapeno peppers. I want to remember this pizza till next week. I'll have a pitcher of beer while I'm waiting. And what the heck, I might as well get my heart checked while I'm here. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, Hello, okay, we're getting there. So he starts uh, doing get, some, get some uh, uh, fat jokes, Colonel Sanders. Ooh, yeah, yeah. You know, he, blames, yeah. he blames the problems uh, on uh, eating out of a bucket, right? So yeah, yeah, this is the thing. Yeah, what do you say, donkeys eat out of a bucket? Yeah, uh, hogs, hogs, hogs. eat out of a bucket. So, yeah. hey, the, you notice... He first says us, talking about fat people, uh -huh. and then he starts making fun of fat people. He yeah. starts making fun of us, a girl he used to date, and, yeah. you know, yeah. flatbed truck, and, and so I don't know. I, there's, there's something about, you know, John Panette, uh, like he's laughing at himself. At himself, right, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. but this guy... So you laugh along with him, yeah. right, he's laughing at himself. Yeah, but this yeah. guy, he, 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 you know, he's kind of chunky. Yeah. And in his later shows, he's real chunky. Yeah. But he's making fun of someone else. Yeah, so, so it's it's like, ooh. Yeah, yeah, it's I don't know. It's kind of uncomfortable. Uh, he talked about the big cookies. Uh, yeah. The uh, the pl lemon pledge, that was pretty good. I like that. Yeah, yeah. He's like, the yeah. art made with artificial lemons in your... Yeah. Drink, we're drinking the artificial stuff, and we're using yeah. the good stuff artificial lemon. Yeah. to clean our coffee the table. The pledge has the real lemons in it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I don't know. I don't know about, uh, I don't know. He's he's not on that Panette level. Mm, he's definitely... We have not reached Panette level yet. All right. So yeah. we got we got a couple yeah. more. Hey, we should make a scale. Huh? Should we make yeah. a scale? Yeah, okay. he's not. Panette is like you know up yeah, on the top. And, yeah, yeah. You know, would you say he is he at uh, Louis level or Mitch level? No, not what yet. He's say? not even at Louis and Mitch uh, yet. No, yeah, he's no, not even at Louis he's, or he's Mitch. Nowhere near uh, Dangerfield. Anyways, uh, um, we got we got a couple more uh, shows with uh, uh, the so-called funniest man in America. Mm -hmm. Yeah, l let us know. Maybe we're not. Um, maybe we shouldn't have done his very first one. Maybe this is not his. Uh, I think it's good to do the first. You know, and yeah. then we'll see yeah. the progression. Okay. Okay. Yeah. He'll earn it. He'll earn it. You got to earn your title to us, all right? Yeah, work your right. way up the scale. All right. All right. We're still giving you a chance there, Mr. Gregory. <laughs> For those of you guys, James Gregory fans, let us know. Like, shout out. Defend your guy. Defend your guy, okay? Yeah. Right. But right. thanks for watching. Right. Thanks for watching. I'm Lane. I'm Tian. And this is... Wow. wow. What? Hmm. hmm. You got that big cookie? Did you finish that one? Oh, it was the size of my head. It's a hubcap. <laughs>